What's up everyone? This isn't a typical video you would see on this channel, so I just want to let you guys know how this video is going to be formatted. It's going to be formatted just like my vlog channel, so if you guys didn't know, I do have a vlog channel. It's called More Johnny Ty. That's going to be this exact format for the most part. So you guys have seen the title. If you guys want the full update, you guys can skip towards the end. This is going to be formatted as the vlog first, and then I'll give you guys a full update, being fully transparent with you guys about my mental health. First off, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So let's get right into it because one of my favorite YouTubers, Nathaniel Drew, actually came out with a class on Skillshare, and my arm is hurting right now, but Yes, he does have a class on Creativity Unleashed, and let me go ahead and talk to you guys about that class. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together and fuel their creativity with thousands and thousands of classes that will suit anyone. If you're a curious person or just bored from 2020's issues, they got a ton of classes from photography, graphic design, business, interior design, drawing, whatever you're interested in, they've got y'all covered. It's a great way to take your mind off what's been happening while learning something valuable. I've explored a ton of classes offered here. Some of my favorites are any class by Thomas Frank or Jeff Staple. And like I said earlier, Nathaniel Drew did come out with a class on unleashing your creativity. You guys will hear this later, but I've been struggling creatively, hence why I haven't been uploading as much. And he gives you many tips and tricks that he does to continue being creative, like looking into how you were as a child or looking into your past work. Definitely recommend this class, especially for those of you who are interested in making YouTube videos or pursuing your creative outlet, because the biggest problem with getting started is our own insecurity and I'm sure this class would help any of you guys even if you do already make content. So for a limited time guys, use my link in the description to get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership to explore everything they offer. Whatever you want to learn, there's surely a class for you. And after that, it's only going to be $10 a month on an annual subscription. Thank you guys for visiting that link and thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Alright, what is happening fellas? Guess what guys, your boy is finally back in New York City and this is normally a vlog that goes on the vlog channel. but this is an update video that's going on the main channel just gonna update you guys on what's been going on and the future of this channel but first off um, I'm gonna be meeting up with Christian we're gonna set up a board and then I'll keep, uh, keep updating you guys as we go with Christian and Christian say what's up hey man. Guys, this is, this is Welcome to the COVID vlog where <laughs> every vlog sounds like this. Uh, yeah so we're about to go we're about to go get some. Yeah we're gonna set up a board both yeah. of us and then uh hopefully we teach uh Christian how to shove it maybe how to ollie. Yeah, then he's gonna let me know early. And man. then uh he's gonna let me know. Update I'm, I'm update you guys on the rest of what's been going on so yeah we're at this shop called Ager uh, just a little Brooklyn joint support local support support local skate shops. Yeah support local skate shops So the shop didn't have the same deck size I typically rock. They had like eight, eight and a half for truck sizes and they had a bunch of decks, but not for size eight. So we just bought it some some fucking complete. Uh, Christian, you got the same exact, it is works. this the same exact one? It works. Yo, man. we got matching. You gotta do what you gotta do. Matching completes. And that's what I recommend. Whenever you guys, if you guys ever start skating, just get a complete because you don't know what you're used to yet. I mean, there's like, 52 millimeter wheels and 54s and all that they all function differently and different size boards give you different weights better for flip tricks whatever uh just get just start off with complete and then you'll just adjust as you go so uh, we're gonna test these out and just roll around does nothing it's all back foot your front foot just jumps forward so it's oops oh. see nice. you just jump forward with it because it pivots off the yeah. this right here so it's gonna go forward slightly so then so do you put it up first or do you start turning so you can do either you can pivot and then flick so either way it's just no oh, matter what just at the same time yeah it's kind of at the same time you flick It's really hard. Yeah, I'm like, it, it really is. How do you expect me to do this? I can barely eat soup with my left hand. <laughs> oh. 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 oh! Oh! Bro! 
Here Good we go. Shit. Nice. Let's go. There's your first shove, That's it, man. The first one. That's sick. 20 minutes. <laughs> so Christian, what you got there? I got the uh, speeding up my mortality with this. I got the KC Nice Step 1000. We're ready to go. This, which way is forward? This way or this way? That the, the rotors are in the back. So this is going forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. Shit. All right. There's a bit of a Woo! yeah. There's a bit of a pull. There you go. And he's gone. He stole my board. Yeah, it's like different from skating, but it's yeah. like if you got the fundamentals of standing on a board, it should be fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed that that vlog that we shot uh, on 9-11. Moment of silence for all those that lost their lives that day. So this video isn't as serious as I may make it come off as. This is gonna sound like I'm complaining and I'm not complaining. Um, this is just me being transparent with you guys. So I uh, just wanna put that disclaimer out there. But like I said, this isn't as serious. This is all filmed uh, unscripted. So I'm gonna stutter a lot. I have talking points, but I don't have like a script script. So the first, let's start off with the first one. Um, I have not been enjoying making videos lately. I think this has happened with a lot of other YouTubers. Um, you've seen Blue Mon, Tim DeSaint, I've seen Daniel Simmons, and there's man many factors to this. Uh, for me personally, it was because, a lot of it was because of the pandemic, what's been happening, all right? That's unavoidable, we're all experiencing that. We're all dealing with this together. But uh, another main factor was me being back where I'm from, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Not that there's anything wrong with that state or city, it's, just not the place to be for my career. So Albuquerque is where I grew up and there's literally <laughs> no fashion out there, no fashion inspiration out there. I'd have to like um, look up GQ articles of New York fashion, street fashion that's happening. <laughs> the street fashion of New York and that's where I got a lot of my inspiration from, but it was kind of hard to find that myself in New Mexico. And then also with New Mexico, in Albuquerque, there isn't too much to do. Um, I think a lot of you guys from Albuquerque would understand. I can only, go, you can only go hiking and to the Bosque so much. So, and if you want to do more fun stuff, then you have to drive at least minimum an hour to two hours. And for me, time, and for me, time's very important. So the time driving doesn't equate to uh, satisfaction whenever, with the activity that I'm doing. So that's just a personal problem though with my um, my views on New Mexico with my career. I love where I'm from. I'm glad I grew up there. Even though it's a very poor state and there isn't as much opportunity, I'm very, I'm so glad I grew up there. And it felt weird to make videos on clothes when everyone's quarantined, you know? So it's kind of awkward. And, and a lot of it as well is my own insecurities with my own videos that I've made in the past. I've made terrible videos. If you go to the very beginning of the channel, those videos are so bad, I can't even watch it. So. Um, but that's the thing, it's very subjective and that's just a personal insecurity. Some of you guys might may, might find those videos helpful. I don't think I executed those videos well, hence why I remake a lot of those videos. But, you know, that's just a personal problem as well. <laughs> and, an, and another main thing is in July, I moved out of my apartment back to my parents and I was down to stay there for a long time. So that whole entire moving process was just, if you guys haven't moved at all, it's one of the worst things you can do. It's so much stress, uh, so much things you gotta pack, unpack, figure out your logistics, figure out travel, how to move the stuff. And then, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of lifting. So it's, it makes you physically tired as well. So that was in July. Come August, me, me and my girl, we see rent prices go down out here in New York City. So we're like, okay, is it a good idea to move out here? And this was, July was when I believe New York went to phase four. So that's when things really opened up. So that really shifted us into, yo, should we, should we move back or no? So my girl and I, we kept on flip-flopping if we should stay or move to New York. And it was just a lot of back and forth. 
So once again, I just moved to my parents at this point in time. This is going all over the place. So basically I haven't uploaded, I've only uploaded like four videos in the past two months. The moving process takes too much mental bandwidth is a good way to explain it. So there's that. And then we were looking into New York City and we haven't really fully settled in with my parents. And so we're thinking about moving again. So that takes up the priority because in my head, if I move to New York City, there's gonna be better opportunities. There's gonna be better inspiration. I'm gonna be a lot more creatively driven. And I'm just gonna be a lot more hustle driven as well. Hustle, quote unquote. Um, that's just the culture of New York City. And you guys know I lived out here for the past four years, except for the end of 2019 and top of 2020. I've always had the, the New York hustle culture inside of me, but it's hard to bring it fully out in New Mexico. So yes, I did triple my amount of subscribers since I moved to New Mexico. I doubled my Instagram followers. Um, so thank you guys for that. But I feel like I didn't fully accomplish what I wanted to do out there just because I felt comfortable out there, which is not a good thing in my opinion. Moving back out to New York City, yes, rent prices are still a lot higher than New Mexico. Everything's pretty much more expensive out here. So the stakes are a little bit higher which is why I kind of have to work harder just so I can make those needs. And that's why we moved out here. So we're, we're back out in New York City, feel at home here, more, more so than in New Mexico, mainly because of my career. And so that's just what's been happening, guys. I, I had to move twice. So July was a move, getting settled with my parents for two weeks, and then we moved out three weeks later after that. So uh, it, was a, it was two moves within three months, and then I'm gonna be moving again. Okay, right now I'm staying at my friend's, uh, my friend's place. Shout out to my homegirl, Dan for letting us stay here. My girl and I were looking at places in Brooklyn, you know, Midtown and all that. So we're busy with that stuff too. So it's kind of hard to balance the, the schedule of content creating and finding a place. Cause the place is what's so important with my, my, my job, you know, making videos. But in, in New Mexico, I would have to drive like an hour, two hours, just to find a good place to shoot for you guys. A lot of you guys don't know that as well. Here, I can go right downstairs and take a picture, and it already has a lot of character to the photo, and it's just better for B-roll shots whenever I'm shooting outfits and all that. And that's really it, guys. It's mainly those, I'll be moving three times in three months. <laughs> Super stressful stuff, so I have to, uh, the whole moving process for New York is crazy and ridiculous, but um, I feel like it's gonna make my content a lot better. The pandemic, my own insecurities, you know, imposter syndrome, I feel that a lot, uh, especially recently. And that's the main reason why I haven't been uploading, but I feel like it's paying off because here, here's the future of this channel, guys. So I've taken off so much time that I've been reevaluating my, my channel. It's still gonna be fashion, but I've been playing it safe, to be honest. I've been making, you know, seven essentials every guy needs and all that stuff. It's very safe videos um, that everyone uploads. So it's like hard for me to stand out. If you guys are, if you guys wonder why I've been uploading for three years and I've only hit like 65K subscribers, it's mainly because I've been playing it safe. I had terrible videos in the beginning. I've only recently been able to find my own style with videos. So, you know, the, the content format, I started to find my own style versus I was like copying everyone else, like, you know, five points, hit five points, hit seven points, you know, seven things, five things, five essentials, you know, and then I just, it's like a list. I don't wanna make those types of videos anymore. I'm still gonna make those. <laughs> Sorry, I should, I should rephrase that. I don't wanna make all my videos like that anymore. Um, they're gonna be a lot more different type of videos. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be experimenting a lot more. And this is mainly for my own, to satisfy my own creative, interests instead of just trying to hit numbers and views so um, which is really how you should take on YouTube anyways instead of just trying to hit the the views but um yeah anyways that's that's where the the channel is gonna be going and just be aware that my luggage is scattered throughout the city <laughs> some of my friends have my luggage and I only have like a little bit over here so I, I don't have as many clothes as I do as I would back home in New Mexico, but once we get a place and I get all settled, I'll be really going into it with the content and just switching up the formats, putting in more efforts rather than, you know, repeating the same formats, more unique topics. I get a lot of inspiration from Adam Ragusea. I don't know if you guys watch cooking stuff, but cooking is like one of my hobbies. And Adam Ragusea is like one of my favorite YouTubers in general. And he has a lot of educational topics which is where I wanna or move the channel towards as well as you know how to style items and all that good stuff. So it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a mix of those instead of just 
essentials you need, how to style this, how to style that. And yeah, that's where it's mainly going. I think like a good video I, th I feel like I made was the phases of men's fashion, as well as the recreating my old cringy outfits video. Those satisfied my creative interests. Those are very different type of topics that uh, a lot of YouTubers haven't made as much. Um, you know, they have similar videos like roasting their old outfits and stuff, but that's where I feel like I want to, you know, head towards as well as you know, how, how to style Jordan 1s. I gotta remake that video because those other two were terrible. Um, but stuff like that, how to style vans, layering, and New York is the perfect place to do it, guys. Um, fashion is incredible here. Even though I'm not the best dressed dude out there, um, this is just my personal taste, which is how fashion should be. This is very scattered and unscripted. See what happens when I don't script videos. Um, I, I'm all over the place. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, you guys can subscribe to my second channel. It's a vlog channel. It's called More Johnny Ty. Don't expect as many videos, but expect different type of videos instead of the same safe content that you guys have been seeing all over YouTube. Just to remind you guys, there's a lot of YouTubers going through this. Um, I don't think it's just, I mean, I'm just some guy, but uh, you guys have seen other fashion YouTubers make these types of videos. Your favorite YouTuber is probably going through this right now. They are, they are human. They aren't perfect, you know, we're not robots. Um, so I just ask you guys be respectful. Just show them some love. It's a crazy time right now. Not everyone has, uh, not everyone is lucky. And a lot of my friends have lost their jobs. I'm grateful for you guys for making this my career. Um, it's better than mechanical engineering. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just really appreciate you guys. And until then, subscribe to the vlog channel, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm out. <laughs> I don't know where my dog is, but Peace.